Welcome. In this tutorial, you'll learn how ChatGPT can generate BlueKit questions about a topic and then import those questions into BlueKit to create engaging educational games. Pro tip, watch this video all the way through the first time to get an overview. The second time, work along with me as you create your own BlueKit game. It's best to make the BlueKit in stages and check ChatGPT's work at each step. I'm starting with a list of vocabulary words. If you have a lecture or book chapter, it's probably best to have ChatGPT summarize it into key points or vocabulary before you turn it into a BlueKit. Alternatively, you can ask ChatGPT to write questions about a specific learning standard. My prompt, which you can find in the video description, asks ChatGPT to limit questions to 200 characters and answers to 150 characters. This isn't a hard limit, so adjust those numbers to meet your needs. You can estimate an average word as five characters. I have 10 vocab words about computer data. If you have more than 15, it's probably best to break them into smaller chunks. Once they're generated, if there's an issue with the questions or answers, there's three things you can do. First, you can press the Regenerate button, which will sometimes fix it. Second, you can tell ChatGPT what to correct. Finally, you can scroll up and edit the original prompt. You can try being more specific, though sometimes editing it and resubmitting it with no changes will cause it to generate the questions correctly the second time. Next, I'll instruct ChatGPT to format the questions as a table that I can paste into a BlueKit template. You can find this prompt in the description. Next, proofread the table. Two things to watch out for are the questions getting cut off with three dots or the answer column having letters instead of numbers. In this case, everything looks good. Now I'm going to copy the table. Make sure to start selecting at the second row because the first row contains the column headers. Copy the table by pressing Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on a Mac. Next, log into BlueKit and create a new question set. Give the question set a descriptive name. Select CSV Import and then Create. You have two options on how to get the template. If you're going to use Microsoft Excel, select Download. If you're going to use Google Sheets, select Copy. I'm going to demonstrate using Google Sheets in this video. Click Make a Copy. I recommend you rename the file to make it easy to find on your Google Drive because you may want to add or modify questions in the future. It's already populated with some default questions, but we can ignore them. Click on the cell in column B next to the number 1. To paste, press Ctrl V on Windows or Command V on a Mac. Review the pasted data. This is a good opportunity to tweak questions, answers, or time limits. If you want, you can go back to ChatGPT, generate some additional questions, and paste them further down in the spreadsheet. Next, select the File menu, then Download, then Comma Separated Values. Save it to a folder where it will be easy to find. Go back to BlueKit. Select Upload. Navigate to the folder where you saved the CSV file and select it. Press Open. Check that your questions were imported. Select Save Set and you're done. If you have any questions about ChatGPT in education or topic ideas for future videos, tell me in the comments. I'd also love to hear about your experiences using AI tools to generate content for your classroom. To keep learning, press subscribe and check out the next video. I'll see you soon.